All I do is win, 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 no matter what. When DJ Khaled released that song in February 2010, he probably wasn't talking about Joe Burrow. After all, Joe was only 13 years old at the time. But is there a song lyric that describes Joe Shiesty any better than that? All Joe Burrow does is win and win and win literally no matter what. In fact, the Star Bengals quarterback has a chance to be the greatest number one overall draft pick since Peyton Manning. So how the hell did that happen? The number one. That's how. Every year, experts and fans argue ad nauseum about NFL draft big boys, fighting over who should be the number one pick. And if you are a team drafting that high, you're hoping to draft a generational talent, someone who has the potential to lead your team to multiple Super Bowls. Teams tend to select quarterbacks with that pick for that very reason. In 14 of the last 15 seasons, the MVP of the league has been a quarterback. And in the last 25 drafts, going back to when Peyton Manning was drafted number one overall by the Colts in 1998, the QB has been selected first overall 18 of those times. But guess what? Of those 25 guys, only two of them have been named NFL MVP. Cam Newton in 2015, and of course, Peyton Manning. But isn't it a bit presumptuous to say that Joe Burrow has a chance to be the best number one overall pick in 25 years? After all, he hasn't even made the Pro Bowl yet. What does Joe have that the other guys don't? QDJ Khaled. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Thank you. Joe Burrow is a winner. In just his second season with the Bengals, he's already taken them to the Super Bowl. Let's take a quick look at the list of every number one overall pick to lead their team to a Super Bowl in their second season. Yep, Joe is the only guy on that list. Not Peyton Manning, not Eli Manning, not John Elway, and certainly not Terry Bradshaw. Of all the NFL greats who were drafted number one overall, Joe Burrow is the only player to ever accomplish that feat. And this isn't just a flash in the pan. As long as Joe has played football, he's been a winner. Joe started his career at Athens High School in the Plains, Ohio, just less than three hours away from Cincinnati. There, Joe passed for over 11,000 yards, threw 157 touchdowns, and he rushed for another 27. Oh, right. And he was named Mr. Football of the State of Ohio his senior year. He infamously transferred from Ohio State to LSU after being stuck backing up the now already out of the league JT Barrett. In 2019, he won the Heisman by the largest margin ever. In the Peach Bowl, he threw for seven touchdowns in the first half alone, absolutely dismantling the fourth ranked Oklahoma defense. In the national championship game, he threw for 463 yards and was named the game's MVP. Many people consider his season to be the greatest ever performance by a college football player. Unfortunately, Joe had a disappointing rookie season, but through no fault of his own. In week 11 against Washington, Burrow got hit while throwing a pass and subsequently tore both his ACL and his MCL in his left knee. These are injuries that can literally end someone's career. But before that game, Burrow was having a very strong season. By week four, he had become the first rookie quarterback ever to throw for 300 yards in three straight games. In week seven against the Browns, he threw for 406 yards and became the first rookie quarterback to record over 400 yards, throw for three touchdowns and rush for a touchdown in a single game. When Joe returned in 2021, he defied all expectations. He led the league in throwing percentage at 70.4% and averaged 8.9 yards per throw, also first in the league. He led the Bengals to first place in the AFC North behind one of the worst offensive lines in recent memory. Joe was sacked 51 times for a total of 370 yards, both tops in the league. In fact, Burrow's 19 sacks in the 2021 playoffs were the most ever and he still made the Super Bowl. So back to our original question. What does Burrow need to do to become the greatest number one overall pick since Peyton Manning? First, we have to look at the bar that Peyton set. He was a 14-time Pro Bowler, a Super Bowl champion, a Super Bowl MVP, and a five-time MVP. Joe hasn't done any of that, and already 25 years old, he'd probably have to play until he's about 40 just to reach those types of numbers. But to beat out every number one pick since Peyton? Now that is very doable. Of the 21 number one overall picks selected between Peyton and Joe, 15 of them have made the Pro Bowl, with five of them doing it four times. Only four have won a Super Bowl, with Eli Manning winning twice. Only one has won a Super Bowl MVP. Again, Eli twice. And only one has won league MVP, when Cam Newton did it in 2015. With all Burrow has already proven in his young career, do we really want to bet against this guy to top all of that? There's a lot of young talent in the league, with Kyler Murray, Trevor Lawrence, Josh Allen, and Patrick Mahomes. But Joe has proven time and time again that he has the stuff to be a champion and to win, no matter what. Thanks for watching this episode of How the Hell. By the way, you like this shirt? If you do, you can now buy it at the Game Day Shop. Link in bio.
See you next time.